I'm on. I'm calling to order the, the uh, Emergency Services Efficiency Committee meeting of October 10th, 2023. Uh, unfortunately, this wasn't posted online early enough. I, uh, it's, it was my error. I, I forgot that there was no Friday and Monday being a um, holiday. I will attempt to do better in the future. We have no alternates to seek. Nobody present to speak that's not on the committee. We can't approve minutes. Let's start with old business. Building updates. First thing, let's start with station 13, Chief. Um, Do you have your trailer in? The trailer's there. Is it hooked up? It is hooked up. Excellent. Um, they're going to hook the sewer in the next week or so, but the propane, they were out yesterday. That should be done in the next day or two. They're supposed to come and hook that up once they get the green light from the building department. Um, so everything else is up and running with it. If every, people are staying there uh, at night. It's not kind of been working well. Um, we were able to get it for just under 14,000 and change and with the hookup for the propane and stuff will be at the 15, so. Uh, uh, how are your personnel doing staying there? They, do actually, they actually like it rather than staying they They'd rather do that than sleep. They don't want to be in the kitchen anymore. That was one of the. Um, yeah. All right. Well, other than that, there's been no real change. We're trying to find somebody that's going to camera and uh, jet that those lines. All right. So, and when we were there with CIP, that building looked in worse condition than I. It smells bad. I remember, it's wet, and the water is coming up through the floor. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see if we can get it dry first. <laughs> uh, also, the, the untreated wood in direct contact with the concrete. I thought that was a little iffy. Um, what was that, Mr. Token official? Is that not a good thing anymore? It doesn't seem like it. All right. Especially um, in the building that's flooding. Yeah. <laughs> um, the other. I will say with having CIP there, it was nice that it happened, or you know, the CIP met right after it rained. So everybody was able to see where it was wet. The floor still had areas that was wet. Unlike when we met with the board of selectmen, it had been dry for about a week. So and where that uh, entrance door, the, the single regular door is with that pushing straight out like that, that did not look good. Um, so have you guys started working on what you need? Form the committee or something. Well, we're shopping like right now. I've been calling left and right for surveyors and engineers. Okay, so we can get the three that are required. You know. Yep. Yeah, but easier said than done. Oh yeah, no, no. I just a lot of people I just wanted to make sure that they're interested. And, I'm just asking to see so if you're yeah. doing something, so we're, and we're, that's doing something. We are moving forward. That. Yes. Yes. So. All right. Yeah, we've actually had a local surveyor that we've talked to. A dozen times and said he definitely was interested in bidding on it or doing the job because he's local and he feels right. like he can contribute you know give a good right. deal to support the local and we haven't been able to get him to actually come and write the proposal yeah that's surprise i'm i'm running into this with another project that i'm running it's getting people that are healthy to show up well they're busy yep right. and what is what i'm willing to pay them they're really busy <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, do you have a, 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 a concrete next step after getting this trailer in and getting those lines looked at? It, it's to get the drainage part priced out and fixed. Okay. Um, once we can get, so we have two numbers that we're waiting for a date for them to, one, give us a quote as to do it and um, when they can do it. All right. Um, is to get the lines cleared, figure out where they're going exactly, how the water's going, and see if that solves some of your other water problems. See what that solves. Right. Uh, every person that's looked at it says, and we've got to put a swale, do at least a swale and some rock and stuff like that back there as well. Okay. The problem is going to be is getting it. Talking to Stewart, it looked like the, the 
driveway that comes down from your training area yep. maybe sloped the wrong way so it's funneling the water towards the building instead of away from the building. That's something I mean. <laughs> Every which way in that property is sloped to Everything, the building. So yeah, it's like a funnel. Yeah. Into the back door. Um, but it's going to come down to, you know, right. Money. Yeah. Um, and what's the next, you know, we're, well, we have to figure out, and I guess this is collectively keeps coming back to here. You know, everybody keeps saying it's got to come back through the emergency services efficiency committee. Um, what the next steps are with the buildings. Um, you know, listening to members last week, nobody's going to be in favor of building two firehouses. You know, nobody's going to be in favor of putting $400,000 into a building and building another firehouse. Um, and that's members that are set on both capital improvements and board of finance. Um, you know, if that's the case, we have a problem. So why don't we back up a step? And my, yep. you'll indulge me from I, I will indulge. So let's before we go to the we want money thing because we yep. both want money. Um, let's let's go back to the drainage thing. Yeah. If this was our own homes, and we couldn't go to the town and say, "Help me out." Yeah. We'd be doing more. We'd that's be digging right. around it. We'd be finding a little that's money. Right. We'd be. I mean, this has been going on since March. <coughs> okay, so I have to think there are some solutions, even just really temporary solutions that are available. I mean, you have the town machine there. You yeah. can get them to dig a swale along the side between the building and the driveway and the, like the generator area, yeah. just to dig through there enough. Can't. Yeah. Everything runs that side. They won't dig it. Okay. So all of the utilities come, yeah. septic, water, come in that side. The grease trap, everything right. come that side. Right. Yeah. But the ground slopes down to that side. It's worse than it had been in the past, maybe from when they graded after digging out the oil tank. I don't know. It's yep. worse because you can see the gravel up against the tin on the building. Yep. And on its wall. Yeah. In between, in between the side entrance door and the rear boiler room door, yep. there's gravel kind of up against the tin on the side of the building, which must have gotten graded there by accident at some point. Um, okay. So, aren't they there? Aren't town? there any solutions available that you know where that you can make the building a little drier in the meantime? I mean, really temporary, but I mean. Uh, I'll describe temporary because we're going to spend money to do a temporary fix so we get in there and fix the problem. Well, right now you got water coming through the floor that you right. didn't have until 2023, right? And there are reasons, maybe plug drains, there are maybe some complicated reasons, right? right. But I mean, there. it seems to me if it was my house, I'd be out there digging with a shovel. Now, I know you can't ask your employees to do that. They have other work to do. And it's not in their contract. I completely understand that. There's only so much I can do with the employees or the time allows for myself to do it. Yeah. But because what it appears to me, they put the drains for the the roof drains into the curtain drain because it goes into perforated pipe. Hmm. So perforated pipe has been in the ground 40 plus years. Right. And it's filled with sediment. It's plugged. Yeah. It's plugged. Right. So we did try to get them before to get the drains open before. We've got them open. It's just getting the where are the gutter pipes draining into right now? The downspouts into the hole. There's so there's two down. There's two holes. Okay. So why not run pipe out down the downhill side towards the neighbor towards the towards that where the lawn slopes down? At least get the water away from the building. I mean, we're talking about a couple hundred dollar solution, right? For some plastic Maybe. pipe, just yeah. for temporary. At least get some water away from the building. Save what you have so you don't get mold again. Mm -hmm. The other part of it is the holes in the side of the building. Right. Where yeah. The right. Yeah. That's, that's that's a problem. I, I completely. I'm not saying you can fix it. I'm saying where's the can-do attitude? What can we do to make it better? Yep. I mean, do you want? I'll come down with my back home. Help dig. I mean, <laughs> we. I don't know. We we plug it. Things happen. 
you know, we find way we find solutions. Yeah. We had a plug drain behind Wellington Hill years ago. We tried to fix it on a Tuesday night with the people we had available. We ran hoses in there. Right. We tried to wash things out. We couldn't do and it. And that's what we've done so far. Is trying right. To. So then we got a guy with a backhoe to come down and got some got some of it dug up and fixed and got some of it donated and probably paid a little bit for some of it too. But we got a drain dug out and right. made some progress. Have you found the catch basin in the middle of your parking lot yet? No. Even with a metal detector, I haven't found it yet. Is that a segue? Yeah. I'm just trying to think about what practical solutions are because we all know the money process is going to be complicated, yep. right? Yep. And you, you started going into the money process, especially for the bigger picture. Right. So what things can we do as practical, hands-on kind of people yep. to help I, make things so a getting, little bit better? Right. And that's why we're trying to get that drain blown out so we can see where it's going. Can we just replace that piece for now? But I can't get a, a company to give us a price to get in there yet. We've called. There's two different drainage companies we've called. Skips didn't even have a date. They realized, wouldn't even give me a date yet. So, will Admiral, did you talk to Admiral about bringing their camera Skip, over? And it was drainage works that Waypoint works with drainage. Because Admiral on Ruby Road, they have the they have the camera drain snakes. I have not talked to Admiral. They did. We were. They did a great job for us on the property across the street, the old St. Jude's property. Okay. And they did, they snaked all the septic lines for us and all that stuff to okay. see if they had roots in them and, and they took video of it and everything. They're, and they're, they're local, they're right here. Yep. Town. No, well, that's what we've been going with Waypoint. Waypoint's been doing all sure. that. Okay. All right. Well, all right. what I, on to the next step. No, the, the one thing I'd like to see from both departments is three items in writing on step one, step two, step three, so we can start thinking about. After we get your drains unplugged and we look at your whatever, then we can know what the next step is. So we can start rethinking that step now. Same with you guys after you get after you get your engineering and your your uh, surveying done. What do you do after that? Because I I don't know. I mean I I can't remember what's in CIP for this current fiscal year. But what were the steps? That it was initial design also, right? It was survey. And or no initial engineering. I believe it was engineering and survey. And survey, survey right. and then then you get then you're gonna have to start looking so like, to do an RFP for the engineering. Engineering. All right. We've already just, talked. I just, we've already talked about the RFP. If you, if you could just send me like an email with three items, one, two, three, in the order you want to do them, that would be great. If both you guys could do that, that that way I know where we're thinking about going. Right now, it seems like we're trying to figure out what we're doing right now. But there's then once we get that done, we have to pre-thought the next step that's all i'm thinking and and if you don't know then we you know that's something we should be thinking about previously all right any updates on vehicles or problems or things that we're going to have to replace right away do you have a red plate for that <laughs> <laughs> no, that is a problem but no we, we're working on that yeah do, uh, do you guys get town plates or do you have Fire plates or fire department plates, they're our own plates. And, All right. Uh, um, so for a Wait, while, so let's put them down. We're not. Let's put them down. Sorry to interrupt. Good. Would you, why don't you call Erica tomorrow and see if we get a town plate? When he had registration problems for his car, they put a town plate on. Car is going to be titled to the town anyway, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like I said, the uh, we're going through the registration process for all of our vehicles. Right? All right. I got Tom Smith is working with me. Do they uh, are they like uh, Willington or or station? No, you end up with a fire apparatus. Yeah, fire, fire apparatus, and then it'll say like uh, S uh, yeah, you get two forty nine or whatever yeah. plates to identify it. Yes. Yeah, so okay. Like I said, that's what we're going through now because for a while they were were not required to be registered, but now they in fact uh, we want to register. Um, so well, I don't care if it's registered or not, as long as it's got a plate on it, so cops don't stop me. Well, we want to cops for, for, <laughs> for a number, number, number of reasons, reasons. yeah. <laughs> so, in, in, in the process of doing that, this new vehicle doesn't go anywhere, it goes from my house to the front yeah. on Tuesday night, that's it. And I leave it at my house, and then it goes up here and leaves it to the meeting on Tuesday night over there. So, um, he's working on getting all the registrations, it should be okay, good. 
But other than that, in terms of vehicles, um, if he has just as a, if he hasn't gone yet, if it's a town vehicle, he needs a letter from here. Yeah, yeah he's already term. come up here and talked okay. to Donna about the time of for ET two forty nine and yeah. taking all the paperwork. He's doing yeah. a lot of legwork for us. We got jammed up with that. We're trying to register stuff. We need a letter from the town so you do our attorney to register. Yeah, yeah. We want you to register yeah, now, yeah. but we want to make it complicated. Yeah. Oh, it's horrible. Everything's complicated. Four times for one truck. Yeah, everything's complicated. All right. Well, seeing as how we're, I want to move this meeting along. We're going to move down to item B. How are your staffing going? Are you, it, it, you it's, it's, it's better. It's All right. Nice. Um, we're working on a full time position. We've had a couple of gaps, but not okay. anything like we had when the person we lost shot. So, yeah. And then you you're filling in for that. You all right? How are you, how are you doing for volunteers? Actually, we just took on the last two months. We've taken on four. Yeah, four new people. So, so they've actually a really good juniors group between the yes. departments too. Yeah, yeah I promise in your department, there's a lot of juniors running around. Yeah. Five, yeah, six, well, isn't one of them just age out of juniors? Uh, no. Yeah. yeah. Right. Cameron ages out in February. Are they staying when they age out? Mm, it's like a. Let's say 50-50. All right. Let's say 50-50. A lot of them get a life. Yeah. Some of you need that more. Mm -hmm. so that we have more yeah. volunteers. Yeah. People want to get a life. Yeah, Isn't that where volunteers come from as firefighters kids? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> All right. Uh, CIP came and visited. I don't know how you felt about it. I felt a little, you know, you gave them the information they need. They, yep. they got to come up with some cash. All right. I'm going to put I'm going to change this slightly because it does, you know. Uh, Town of Union, have you talked to them? We, no, we, the conversations were started, but we haven't really uh, right. deep into. No. And then they said that I mean, we haven't had anything formal in writing, but they know that they're paying this year. So okay. The the hard part is is our calls to everywhere else. I'll yeah. the calls that we're going to the union. Oh, no, no. I, I, yeah, looking at the calls, I see a couple calls a month to the union, or maybe a couple a week, and then everything else is Stafford or Tom. Speaking of Stafford or Tom, you said you had some. Okay. So we did have, um, I know I got some conversation or had a conversation with Chief Lytel. Right. Um, and I know Erica was going to be talking to the town administrator. All right. I don't know how that outcome was. Um, I know Talon is doing a study on their staffing um, and working on a plan for nighttime staffing or weekend staffing, but nothing's been implemented yet. Okay, but we I did report to the Board of Selectmen on uh, those four items last time. I can't remember what the four items were, but one of them was Talon. Just the difference with Stafford is one typically Stafford either has a call and yeah. they're out. The Stafford also pays back the calls to us. They're not as high, you know, but they do come in and do calls, especially that half of the town, if we need it. Is that everything with like Polster in that area? Yeah, they come all the way to the hot. Oh, well, I would say we have yeah. yeah, yeah, they come all the way up to 70. Yeah. All right, it's that whole zone one, zone one, two. And that whole side. And then Yukon does the other part of the path. The left side of town versus the right side of the yeah. town. Yeah. Uptown, downtown. Some people would say west and east. West and east. <laughs> Some people. Divided roughly by Route 320. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, but we haven't had any big issues on calls either in town or out of town. But just been busy. All right. Uh, how are we doing on tax abatement stuff? You guys don't generally do much of that, do you? Or do you? We do. Okay. So we got all our numbers together. 
Yeah, 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 so yeah, right. yeah, I can speak on it. Yeah, we, I, the last time we uh, had it here, that yeah. was the last draft, final draft, and I think this committee, I don't believe I was here at that meeting. Yeah, but we pushed it through. The yeah, we pushed it through the divorce cycle, and we were okay with it. Um, and that's kind of where it sat. I've been doing this other stuff with the surveying and so we think all right. There um, hasn't been on the agenda, but it's like on the last couple of meetings. Yeah, and I haven't requested it be put on the agenda either. Uh, again, because I'm just not prepared to go. You know, I'm right. to get the uh, during the during the busy season at work, so I kind of been putting it off. But it, that's the next step is going to the board selectmen and requesting that they call a town meeting to. Did it already went to the attorney, or did it have to go to the attorney already? Yeah, no, I don't think it has. But that's something that I requested already okay. once. And I'm going to request again before it goes to a town yeah. meeting. That's for the board selectmen. I want the town attorney to just yeah. you know, verify all the numbers yeah. and the, the state statutes and all that stuff to make sure it's not. If um, I remember right, right, the last town meeting, the last selectman's meeting that it was discussed, I think oh, it was supposed to be gone. I, I thought it was supposed there. to go to the town attorney. Yeah, I, think, I did put in the request that she. I, I think that what was told uh, maybe in the first selectman's update was that it was going to go to the yeah. town attorney for review. I don't think it has because I haven't heard anything else. Yeah. So that's good information for me. Thank you. Um, I don't know what the, I put something on the agenda and I don't know what to put it down there for because I don't remember. Not tripping any bells. Um, the, I noticed that the, I saw that one of the board of selectmen meetings, the draft for the um, early warning system or emergency warning emergency system. notifications. Yeah, that. Sure. That was went out. Um, have you had a chance to look at it? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Can other people in town look at it while it's still in draft form, or are we waiting for it to come out? And it's been approved by the board selectmen. It, uh, it was approved at the last meeting. Okay. Um, it's basically it's a combination of a bunch of other towns how they did right the exact right. same thing. Um, no need to reinvent the wheel. I don't know. How it gets to what's the next step in the process, but I know um, in the first selectman's office they've been handling the administration, getting in touch with the vendor, working on getting the website set up for people to do the signups and all that. Okay. Stuff. And is, have they involved you guys at all in any of this? Not yet. Not yet. At it's, some point, I like Tom that and, yet. Or, well, because at some point, Tom and I need to be able to. If there's a catastrophic event or if we need to say something, Tom and I need to have access to it. Yeah. I don't, yeah. in my opinion, I don't think, I think it should just be Tom and I, not all of our officers. Yeah. That yeah. is a system that is very, one, it's finicky to use. Yeah. Not finicky, it's easier than people think, but. Which one is it? Everbridge. But yeah. if you don't do it right. Yeah, no, I've used, I've used up, Everbridge a lot. And <laughs> you could wake up 5,000 people when you're only looking to do a small group. Right. So. Yeah, I, I always check that like four times before I hit send. Yeah. Wake up the entire town of Coventry because I'm looking for an office. But for the fire services, either Tom or I are usually one of us, somebody can get a hold of. Yeah. So, yeah, that was discussed that the um, access would be very limited. Yes. That a, a message could be driven from only a few key stakeholders in town. And then obviously the access through TN right. into the system would right. be a critical. Um, and the state police. One of the problems with that, if I remember correctly, from when I had to set one of these things up, was uh, making sure that the people who were sending the messages were getting the information from the people that had the information. So, yes. for instance, out of this Merle Road thing, the people in town didn't have the information to put out on the system that the state police had because the, the failure wasn't so much between the town and the Citizens is between the town and the state police. I think that's a fair assessment. Okay. Um, so that takes us into new business. Anybody got anything new? We got look like we're going to make it in the, in the budget this year. I mean, it just started, right? We're <laughs> that's three months in. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. All right. So, so
but we haven't been hit upside the head with a two by four saying this is an issue yet. Except for your station. Well, no, no, it's just repairs. It's ground shore failure is twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah. All right. Anything that I I've missed since the last meeting? Because I don't. I didn't go to your guys' last meeting because I showed up half an hour early and I talked to your juniors and then I fled. Sure. Well, I think we should talk about the last selectman's meeting and I think it goes to what Alex was starting to talk about, the capital money and the stations and specifically, um, I'm speaking about the conversation I had at the selectman's meeting about the study. Okay. Um, and my concern that the that this group, this group voted unanimously to move that request forward to the selectman, but it was very clear at the Slackman's meeting that not only the Slackman, but other people were had already had a lot of conversation and were dead set against it. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm not sure how effective this committee is if there's already a plan. And I understand their concerns about it, but I think I I don't I'm not sure what to do next. Um, and I think it goes to Alex's conversation about what the townspeople and the committee seem to be hinting to about what's um, what's going to be palatable for capital money. Mm -hmm. I just think that we should learn from the school building committee that uh, if you don't get enough information out at the beginning, then you don't make it at the end. Well, and you leave questions that the taxpayers probably have a right to be asking. Right. Right. And you got to make it bring it in in a reasonable budget. So, all right. Anything else that anybody else wants to talk about or we should be looking at in the future? I just think we need some concrete plans on moving ahead with both your projects. And something that, you know, we, we have, we're thinking at least one step ahead of where we're at. Well, I think that's the conversation I'm trying to have. All right. We don't seem to be having it. All right. My question so are we going to defend the study idea or no. are we are we gonna I, let it get shoved yeah, aside? Question on the study idea. Who who again would we you have somebody who would be doing the study? There are companies all over the country that do the study. It's a it's a do set we have, format. We have had sample studies shared here and shared with the selectmen. Yeah, I do we have any idea on time? I think that's the biggest concern. Our I know talking with, and so yeah. I was the one that I, I'll be absolutely blunt. I had a conversation with Tom. I've had a conversation with Peter. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not that I just, it, I'm not against the study. I understand what the study's for and the reasoning for it. I have a huge concern of if the building has to sit still collecting water from the side, the siding not being fixed or something like that for a year. Right. And now you I have and I had this conversation absolutely. outside. Too, and I, I absolutely agree with your concern. And you right. know that I think I, I we agree need to with do you, something with the building. Correct. The study does not need to hold that up. The study could well, that's my fear. The study could be a tool to get more money right. in the right places. Right. Well, my fear is, is if we do the study, it's going to be like, oh, we're doing a study. Let's hold off doing anything. I that's think right. they're separate. Right. I think they're separate problems. I think they're separate. I think we're we're the big picture. You know, I think there may be people who are trying to come get it, however, that we need yep. to be. No matter what we do, people are going to manipulate it. Right. Yes, absolutely. I, so we could wait till next year. And then if the people of the town seem to be saying that they want a study, then we could delay it another. We could be delaying all of this another six or eight months until next budget year. Right. And then we do the study, wait for the study to get done. So we're talking a year from then. I, um, I think we dig a little more into the study option and figure out, talk to actual people and get some actual ideas of how long is this thing, how long would it take? Well, it'd be easy to ask. I mean, they be ready when we're ready right. you know, with this study because I agree, uh, more information is better, you know, for the taxpayers, for everybody to say, look, we got this information, we did this study on the facilities, the firearms facilities, and I think it would support, you know, what we're looking to do anyway. Right. So, the but, hard the hard part is you spend how much do we spend on the studies that are in there that they haven't done anything with. I realize that, but we can't keep saying that we did a poor job in the past. 
So we can't take a chance on doing it right now. And when we're talking about spending $30,000 for a study that is a different kind of study from those others and is based on a federally accepted format and has been done in other places right here in Connecticut, we can see the proof. That's a very different conversation. We're also talking about $30,000 when we're going to be asking the taxpayers for probably $10 million between the two fire departments. And I would think the taxpayers would feel a $30,000 study to give them a better idea how to spend $10 million. I would think that would be an effective tool. I, I don't disagree. I'm just, I'm more worried of getting the station. I agree. I think they can both have your, your issue with the, what you need to get the station functional. Can't wait. Right. Yeah, I think they're doing different things. They're different things. They can't they're wait for any of us. I'm afraid of is that they're going to say, uh, we couldn't wait for it. I think they said there's two different things. You're, you're I agree with you. Building but... issues have to be fixed now. Right. Study right. has to go with the new projects. Correct. If, if you, I don't know if you were involved at all when the study was done for um, East Granby. Yeah, they had to pull a lot of data from TN, data. right? Yep. So that's the time consuming part of pulling the data. The, the, the grinding of the numbers happens pretty quickly once the data is all been mined out. And, if, you know, and, and so you have an idea what kind of time. Now, of course, East Granby being different too, because I don't think you guys had dispatched them for the whole no. period of time they were looking no. for either. So it was more complicated. Yeah. Wellington's data would be a lot easier to yeah. dig out. Stuart was supposed to be doing a heat map to bring to the meeting tonight. Because that's really easy to pull off the CAD. At least that's what I'm told. Yeah. I don't get that portion of the but maybe it come tonight. So I, I, well, I think we could have bumpy, I think we could have rough waters for any number of reasons. Maybe it's this do we do the study? Maybe we don't do the study. We could have rough water, I think. And you know, and I think the but I think we also need to have an idea what we're going to capital improvements with this year. That's my yes, yes, of course. I mean, I I I don't think that this study should hold up anything. I also think that if you're going to want to sell a big project in the long run, you're going to need it. So I, I think that we got to move forward on both at the same time. That's just my feeling on the matter. I can't have the same feeling. Can we start? Finding somebody to do the study and figure out a time frame and stuff like that to ensure that it won't hold up our goals of CIP. And yeah, I mean, I can probably look, look online it. tomorrow and figure out how long it takes one of these studies to, somebody, to happen. You know, I have to yeah. talk to somebody and say, hey, can you commit to it? What do you need? You know, yeah, there are a bunch of towns in Connecticut who, already, who have yeah. already done it. I can probably call a couple and ask them. Are they done? It's all the same company or different companies? No, different companies. Okay. There are um, there are probably like five really big ones that do it kind of across the country, and then there are a lot of smaller ones that do it um, to that same standard. And um, that's what I had said at previous meetings. One of the federal government, because of the federal government's oversight of a lot of fire districts. They put out an RFP to do this type of study. That's how they got that thirty thousand dollar number. The RFP was awarded uh, to one of the big companies for a number something to the effect of twenty nine nine ninety nine or whatever it was. It was basically thirty thousand dollars, and so that set the standard. So now all the other companies are bidding like twenty nine nine ninety eight, so that they can beat that bid by a dollar to try to get the job. So it's a it's pretty consistent. And the one that I brought to the selectmen and maybe here um, was, was done by um, was done by uh, I can't remember the name of the company, but it was before. So one of the principles of that company previously um, was the director of fire emergency services in Farmington. She left Connecticut, moved to Florida. She has since left that company and started her own consulting company. So she did that one. She did the East Granby one. And she did that other one that I brought in. The one that I brought in was $26,000. It was just under that 29, whatever. You bring it, brought in a copy of that? He emailed I, it to us. Oh, okay. No, you know, yeah. I, the I East Granby it. one was a much more in-depth study. That wasn't just, that was a staffing. And that also looked at surrounding fire departments in the other towns. 
how they could make, you know, how they could handle mutual aid differently mm -hmm. to better serve. Like if they had a concentration of calls right at the border with another town and right. that town had a fire station right over the line, right. that they should change their mutual aid to better serve that call. That was more, that was like a $52,000 study. That sounds like something TN would want to have a heart attack. <laughs> you got, you got this all different. All right. It's called automatic mutual aid. Oh, okay. Sorry. I go to the cops go to the line and say, we're, we're not going over there until you call us. <laughs> okay. So I don't want to leave that one there, but I think that's where we're going to be. Seems like we have to leave that one there. I have no correspondence. Please, if you have anything you want to talk about or don't want to talk about, let me know. And so I can incorporate it in the next agenda. I will move all the minutes to the next agenda. Uh, everybody good? Is anybody on welfare? We've moved past that one. All right, go. I think we have to adjourn by consensus. Yeah, you just have to say we can't. We can't. We can't vote on a motion. Oh, sorry. So I guess we're all in consensus that we're adjourning at seven fourteen p.m. All right. Good. Stand by. We are still live.